This is Don Johnson, Airbrush the Magazine, uh, another artist interview. Um, if you haven't seen these videos before, what we do is just interview artists from all over the world about how they got into their art, um, if they have any advice from those wanting to get into pinstriping, airbrushing, custom painting, some marketing advice, and promoting the artist we're talking to. And today we're fortunate enough to talk to Liz and go ahead and introduce yourself. Let everybody know. Hi, I'm Liz Northrup and I live in the northern part of uh, Idaho. Uh, I live near a city called Moscow, Idaho. Um, I've been an artist uh, since as far back as I can remember as, as a child. I've been doodling in art. So. We all have, really. I mean, yeah. You're just sort of born with it, I guess. Yeah, I think so. And how did you become? You're our first, uh, I guess, traditional brush or hairy brush artist that we're interviewing. Um, how did you get started with that? How did you get interested in it? Um, I met some other artists online through social media and other um, websites, and I've just been drawn to their style. Um, years ago, I was into graphite pencil drawings. Um, I was a car artist for a few years, and then I started practicing um, pinstriping. And then uh, uh, a lot of my influence, I would say, would be from like Doug Dore. Uh, he does a lot of 3D art, and uh, <clears throat> I really like his style. And uh, so my focus has turned from from pinstriping to 3D works of art. I noticed that. I really love it. You don't have any examples. I forgot to ask you. Do you have any examples you could show us? Sure. <laughs> Sorry, I should have asked you before that. No, that's fine. Cool. This is uh, one of my newer, newer pieces. It's called a Finky Finger. <laughs> I made a cast of my of my own pinky, my broken pinky right here. <laughs> How did you go about making the cast? Just with plastic? Uh, yeah, I, I made a mold and then uh, used some casting resin and um, I'll brush some of the paint on there and do a little bit of airbrushing, very little airbrushing. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> and then you just, you just paint okay. different designs on them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. And then uh, I have this little flying eyeball. Uh, I call him Bat Out of Hell. <laughs> uh, I've, seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of those. Those are really cool. Yeah, this idea came from uh, Mike LaValle. Um, I've been fortunate to be, um, become friends with him. And uh, he told me, he said, Liz, you need to make a flying eyeball with bat wings. Mm -hmm. So that's what I made. <laughs> you know, I think that's great. Mike has touched a lot of lives, and I don't know. How much he realized that, but you know, it's not just him teaching flames and fire. He really changes, I think, people's perspective and people's lives, and that's a great thing to do. He he sure does. Yeah, he's a he's a wonderful man, wonderful artist, and I really look up to him. Yeah, I think yeah. we all do. We all do. Yeah. As far as marketing now, how do you go about marketing your art? Um, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. <laughs> Other than posting your artwork online on social media, um, have a website. Um, I have a website, but it's it's mainly just my Etsy account where people just go and check out my artwork and buy a piece that they would like. Um, I don't go into a whole lot of detail about myself. Um, well, now you can. You have a video. <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, just... Uh, make make friends online. Make friends locally. Other artists. Um, do you do shows? Do shows? Yeah. Uh, last couple of years, I've been doing um, a couple of shows up in Spokane, Washington, at the Rod and Custom Show, Good Guys Car Show. Uh, I'm hoping to branch out and do a little more traveling this summer and go to more more car shows. How is yeah. how is your experience with Etsy? Etsy oh, I loved it. Do you? I loved it. I'm a I'm a big um, 
classic car, muscle car fan. Uh, my family and I own several Mopars, uh, classic Mopars, and um, no Chevy. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No Chevys, we're all Dodge and Plymouth. Uh, this interview has to end, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm right. just kidding. No, I, no yeah, I'm just kidding. I, I'm a Chevy person, that's why. Yeah, understandable. No, there's some really cool Chevy cars out there, too. <laughs> I like all of them, but yeah. yeah, my heart is in the Mopars, for sure. Yeah. There's a rich history there, that's for sure. Yeah. You know, I live that's, not far from uh, the Snake, you know, the Dragster Museum down here, so. Oh, how nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a big Mopar thing. They have a big Mopar show coming up. In fact. So what advice do you have to give to other artists as far as um, learning and chasing your dream? I think one of the most important aspects to remember is to be patient. Be patient with the craft that you're learning. Be patient with yourself. And... Um, don't be too hard on yourself learning a new craft and don't compare your skill level with other artists because comparing will only bring you down and uh, will kill your motivation. Um, for years I struggled with that and uh, it's taken me some, some time to get over that hump and just be okay with the skill level that I'm at. For sure I want to be, I want to be better, I'm striving to be better. But um, I'm at a place now where I feel comfortable. And um, <clears throat> there's so many wonderful artists out there. Um, become friends with them. Follow people on, on the social media sites. Watch their live feeds. Um, but don't compare your skill level with others because that will just bring you down. Um, just keep focused and practice and ask questions. Uh, this art community is a... Uh, a wonderful group of people, and a, a lot of them are, are willing to uh, to reach out and uh, give you some help. So I think a majority, yeah. a majority of them are, and that's what's nice about Facebook and the and the whole crowd. And I think it's nice you sort of found your niche. You know oh, what you. you're comfortable with. You've sort you've created your own style, your own form of art, and I think that's important. You follow your passion, Thank you. And follow your heart, and, and not be not get hooked into trying to paint like somebody else, you know what I mean? Yeah, that that's that's the hardest part, because yeah. you're influenced by so many artists that you try to pick up um, certain techniques of theirs, of their style. Um, I think that is one of the hardest things. It, it was for me, in a way, to try to come up with my own style. Um, <clears throat> But you have wonderfully. I mean, I love looking at your art. I think it's an inspiration to a lot of people. That, oh, uh, thank you. That, thank you. you know, you, you can be yourself and, and follow your passion and and create your own type of art. And I think you've done that well. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm um, having lots of fun. That's um, the important thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's the most important thing is to have fun with your craft. And uh, because if you just keep... Um, putting yourself down, a lot of self-doubt, um, you can't grow as an artist. So uh, I think the biggest thing is just have fun with what you're doing. Um, and if you're struggling with motivation, you just need to keep painting. I mean, there's there have been months, if not a couple of years, that I had gone by not picking up an art brush at all. And I finally have decided... Just do some simple brush strokes. Um, there for a while, I was interested in doing lettering, and um, I was studying that for for a few weeks. But uh, just just the simple works of your hand, just working that brush. Eventually, that motivation and inspiration will come back. Um, and even the days when you don't feel like you don't feel like painting. Sometimes you have to force yourself to get in there and do the work, um, and that motivation and inspiration will come back naturally for you. How, yeah. can, how can people get in touch with you or see your artwork, purchase your artwork, social media contacts you want people to have? How yeah. Um, on Facebook, it's uh, Liz Northrup, or my fan page is Crazed Customs, and both words are spelled with a K. 
I'm on Instagram, <clears throat> uh, Liz.Northra, or The Crazed Customs um, as well. And I have a, a YouTube channel. Um, just do a search of Liz Northrup. And my website is crazedcustomsstudio.com. Uh, it's my Etsy page. <laughs> so, well, yeah. When we're done, if you write all those down and message them to me, I'll put them in the video so that sure. people will have a link to all of them when they watch your video. Of course. I'll do that. Great. Yeah. I appreciate your time, and it was a lot of fun. It wasn't hard, was it? It was easy. No. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. No problem. The only other thing I want to say is that I think people have a lot of misconception that the magazine is only digital. It's not. There's a printed format of the magazine that you can subscribe to, just like any other magazine. And the other thing I want to say is, you know, it's not just about airbrushing. Uh, any pinstriper, custom painter, if you paint just solid color cars, um, you're all welcome to be interviewed. You're all welcome to be part of this and part of the magazine. And I want to, I want to be inclusive of everyone, not just, you know, the title of the magazine is Airbrush the Magazine, but I feel it, it extends out way beyond that. Pinstriping, lettering, custom painting, just plain painting. Um, For so sure. You're, you're all welcome. Yeah. It was a well, what you're doing is wonderful, Don. Well, we're I really am. Uh, we're trying. It's, you know, it's my passion. I love doing this. I really do. I love publishing the magazine. And I think these interviews are a big plus to the magazine. We can get word out about a lot of people. You know. We see you on Facebook and stuff. Now we can finally hear you and see you. And I think that's a great thing. Oh, well, thank you very much. That means a lot. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Liz. Mm -hmm.